Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can farm Chia coin on your Intel or M1 Mac. Chia is a new cryptocurrency which instead of being mined on a GPU or CPU is instead farmed using space on your hard drive. This has the advantage of using less power and also makes it possible to mine on almost any computer providing that you have enough spare storage. The type of Mac you have isn't important. It can be an Intel Mac or an M1 Mac, and since Chia relies on space rather than computational power, it doesn't have to be very fast. Most Macs produced in the last 8 years or so should be fine. For plotting, you'll need an external drive of at least 500GB. An SSD is preferable, although an external hard drive would also work, but it would be much slower. What you definitely should not do is plot to your internal SSD. The plotting process is very write intensive and the M1 Max especially have more than enough issues with SSD wear without introducing more. Creating a single plot results in over a terabyte of writes to the SSD. So try to buy the highest endurance SSD you can and a fast USB 3.1 Gen 2 or Thunderbolt 3 enclosure. I'll put links to some high endurance SSDs and fast enclosures down in the video description. In addition to the SSD, you'll also need a big external hard drive to do the farming. This is where the plots will be moved to after being plotted on the SSD. The more plots you have, the higher your chance of winning a block. So the larger the hard drive, the better. To begin with, I picked up a couple of 6TB Seagate expansion drives for just under €100 Euros each, for a total of 12TB. Each plot is just over 100GB in size, so 12TB of space would be sufficient for almost 120 plots. The speed of the hard drive used for farming doesn't matter, so just try to find the cheapest drive with the highest capacity you can. Finally, since most current Macs only have a couple of USB-C ports, you're probably going to need a USB-C hub as well. Try to get one with at least three USB 3.0 Type-A ports so that you can connect multiple external hard drives in case you want to add more in future. Now the first thing you need to do is disable hard drive power saving. Open System Preferences, click on Battery, then under power adapter settings, remove the tick from the box labeled, put hard disks to sleep when possible. Then select battery settings and do the same. Next, you need to install the Chia blockchain software. Go to chia.net and click install Chia blockchain. This will bring you to the Chia GitHub page. Click on Mac OS at the top of the page and then click the link for Chia blockchain Mac OS to download the DMG file to your Downloads folder. Open your Downloads folder and double click the DMG file to mount it. Then drag the icon into your Applications folder. The first time you run Shear, you'll see a pop-up message asking if you're sure you want to open it. Click on Open and Shear will run. After running the software, the first thing you'll need to do is create your wallet. So, on the sign-in screen, click the button labelled Create a New Private Key. On the next screen, you'll be given a list of 24 words. You need to write these words down on a piece of paper in the same order that they appear on the screen and keep it somewhere safe. If you ever lose them, you'll no longer have access to your wallet. Once you've written the words down, click on Next and you'll be taken to the main interface. The app will immediately start synchronizing the blockchain and you'll have to enter your administrator password to allow Chia access to your keychain. The synchronization takes several hours. Luckily, you don't have to wait for it to finish to start creating your first plots. To start plotting, click on the icon labeled Plots on the left. Then click on Add a Plot. In the first box, you can choose your plot size. The optimal size for a plot is 101.4GB, or K32. Although the final size of the plot will be 101.4GB, the plotting process needs an additional 239GB of temporary free space. 
so you need about 340 gigabytes of free space on the drive in total. In the next box you can choose how many plots you want to create. To begin with it's probably best to start with one, but if you have enough space on your plotting drive, you can plot several at the same time in parallel. In the third box you select the temporary drive where the plotting will be done. Click on the browse button, select your external SSD and click open. In the final box you select the drive where the plots will be stored for farming. This should be your high capacity external hard drive. Click on browse, select your external hard drive and then click open. Then you can click the button labeled create plot and you'll be asked again for your administrator password. To stop these pop-ups in future, you can click always allow after typing your password. Then the plotting will start. Be prepared for it to take a long time, depending on the speed of your CPU and your drive. On a fast NVMe SSD connected by Thunderbolt 3, it may take 7 or 8 hours to create a single plot. While on a rotational hard drive, it might be 12 to 15 hours or even more. You may notice that it appears to get stuck at around 31%, but just be patient, it's finishing the first phase and it will eventually continue. Finally, the status bar will turn green and plotting will change to farming. Congratulations, you just created your first plot and you're now farming Cheer coin. Now you just need to create more plots. Lots of them. If you click on the icon labelled farm, you'll see your farming statistics. With just one plot, the estimated time to win a block is currently around 12 years, and this time is only growing as the size of the network increases. So you need to create as many plots as you have the space for to stand the best chance of winning a block and getting some cheer coins. If you have enough space on your SSD, you can try creating multiple plots in parallel. Select the number of plots you want to create in the drop down box and select plot in parallel. With a 1TB SSD you should be able to create two plots simultaneously and a 2TB SSD would be enough to create five plots, saving you a lot of time. Once you've filled up all of your available drive space with plots, it's just a matter of waiting and hoping to win a block. To get an idea of how long it may take to find a block with different farm sizes, you can take a look at sheercalculator.com. You can increase your chances by buying more storage, but personally, this isn't something I would recommend investing a lot of time or money into. At the rate the network size is growing, you could literally spend thousands trying to keep up and still not have any guarantee of ever finding a block. Anyway, I hope this helps if you're thinking of trying some farming on your own Mac. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.